we had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties. Yep. The mixture got stuck. Um, so what I did was I used a knife to pry it out. Um, time is of the essence, so I had to stop the video. Here we go. We're just going to pull it out of that. Boom. Place that in the middle of the, of the plate. And that's what we called a leftover hash. And on top of that, what we're going to do is grab a piece of steak. And what I'm going to do, what, what we can do, is basically just place this on top. Asparagus over the top as well. Bit of presentation there. And then what I'm going to do is that we made some sauce earlier. Red wine vinegar. Oh, red, wine vinegar. Uh, red juice sauce. Bit of red wine um, and beef stock. And we're just going to pour a bit of that over. Boom. I love my sauce. And then on this side, we're going to finish it off. And how we're going to finish it off was, was the hollandaise sauce that we made earlier. But what I've done is I've taken it a step further. And we've made a Chiron sauce. A Chiron is uh, a derivative of a hollandaise. And all we've done is we've added a bit of tarragon, which is Bernay sauce. And then we've added tomato, which makes it a Chiron sauce. So it's altered the colour, but it's given it a bit better texture and a bit more substance. And we're just going to put that on the top as well. So this is what we call Chiron. Nice, wine, ripe tomatoes. Boom. And as you can see, this is dinner. Pretty simple. I fill it, wrapped in bacon, asparagus with saran sauce, and a basic red wine jus. If you don't know, now you know. TYB, touch your balls. Peace.